We're here at the Adobe booth. We're gonna check out Character Animator, the newest item in the Adobe library, next. So Character Animator allows you to take Photoshop and Illustrator documents and bring them to life as characters using your webcam and your microphone, as well as you can, if you have a keyboard, touch screen, you can power different parts of the character with different parts of your computer. But hardware you already have, is, enables you to bring characters to life in real time, fully live. It runs pretty well on even really basic hardware. Uh, I have older computers with not even great webcams, and I get good results. All you really need is uh, decent lighting. That makes a big difference in performance. The more power you have is always good, but it'll work even on basic laptops. So let's say I'm a 3D animator. How does that match to a 3D animation software? Yeah. So it's it's totally different kind of workflow. Uh, you could use it in conjunction with 3D software, but it's 2D based. And so even though there are things like head turns and the characters, those are actually flattened out layers, okay. but people have been building 3D models, rendering them from different angles, and getting it set up for real-time performance. You tag elements of the character, say this is the head, you tag it as the head, and then Character Animator knows that that's the head and tracks your head and maps that one-to-one -one so that when you turn your head, the character will turn his head. We've had people turn around a character in under an hour for broadcast television. Uh, I've also seen people, and I, and I love this, animating their own kids' artwork and making films with their children, which yeah. has been very cool to watch. Now, is, is this what Stephen Colbert is doing on yes. this show? With the, with the, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how that came to be. So, Cartoon Trump and various characters around it, they've been evolving them over the last few months. Uh, they're doing amazing work. They are so far beyond what we even thought was possible. They just they went to air before even telling us, and then they sent us an email. We're like, we have some thoughts on how you can make this program better. <laughs> like, you should have called us. Uh, so we've been working pretty closely with them, and they've asked us for a lot of features that have gone into the main app. And we've added Mercury Transmit support, so you can hook up to things like Wirecast, OBS. You can go out to YouTube Live, Facebook Live, those types of things, and do fully live streaming environments. You can also connect to broadcast hardware. One of the things we've done is added workspaces that guide you through the animation process. It makes it a lot easier to get started, and also gives you just the tools you need at the right time so you don't have all your rigging tools while you're actually broadcasting that kind of thing uh, makes it much more approachable um, we've also added walk cycles so you can do full body animation and they're parametric so they adjust themselves automatically depending on how your character is set up uh, and you can dial in a bunch of different controls to get something that really matches matches the performance to your design. You can use pre-recorded video. Uh, there's a little bit of a trick to it which is you need to use the face tracker in After Effects and then you can just copy and paste the data over. You can also process audio clips. You can import those straight into Character Animator and compute them as lip sync and have the lip sync right in your timeline fully editable. And that's Character Animator. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this a new program program from Adobe. Check it out over at adobe.com of course for $49.99 or $599.99 for the annual subscription. You can really get a lot of great programs for the year. Jeffrey Powers with Geekazine, youtube.com forward slash geekazine. Until the next one, you guys geek out.